All right, Shalom, Shalom. I'd like to say all praises due to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakach Hadash, and double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to all you brothers teaching the truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe. Okay, trying to gather the, the hopeful elect. All right. And, um, <clears throat> all right, this. You know, this time that we're living in is uh, a sign of the coming, signs of the coming of, you know, Yahweh Shai, all right? And, uh, you know, we could tell by the rumors of wars, uh, People waxing worse, you know, society decay and the economic decay of society, right? And um, me being my age, uh, 45, I lived through two, two uh, pertinent, uh, I would say, uh, recessions. Okay, where uh, quantitative even was introduced, and that's how you know, right now at this time, that's how we got to this current, <laughs> you know, space with this debt ceiling. You know, I, I went through one with Daddy Bush, and then uh, another one with uh, Baby Bush. Okay, and the in between presidents said they was easing quantitative, I mean quantitative easing. You know, the current uh, financial situation, which would be Clinton, and uh, the other one was Obama. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you know, uh, this time. This time, it's no, uh, like my man Gerald Salente would say, this is going to be a step off a cliff, and it's going to be a immediate nosedive, and that's where we're about to go, all right? So I got this, uh, this article, and then I got it, uh, I want to read a few things from this other article, and, um, that'll be it but no knowing what we know now okay and i'll bring out the scriptures to go with it after that you hear this is it man this is it okay uh one article talks about the cbdc all right and uh the other guy he, he's going to talk about uh you know where it all went wrong and how long it's going to be all right so let me grab those all right it's the first guy and you know <laughs> slowdowns in the u.s economy as it stands right now based in large part to that great engine of economic growth in our country, that being the consumer. Yes, consumers continue to spend, but we now see that the personal savings rate in our country has dipped to 3%, which was as high as nearly 9% prior to the onset of the pandemic in 2019. We learned in the third quarter of last year that credit card balances increased at their largest annual rate in more than two decades. And then just last week, the New York Federal Reserve told us that the total amount of household debt continues to rise, and they're now starting to see delinquencies. So as a result of that, yes, the total impact on the 450 basis points in interest rate increases that the Federal Reserve has imposed already is doing damage, not just to the housing market, but also to the economy as a whole. And I remain concerned just how much more damage will be done 
by additional interest rate increases in the months and quarters ahead. If the economy is slowing, that's going to impact corporate earnings. So if you're looking to the outlook for corporate earnings growth in 2023, perhaps the extent of that slowdown in consumer spending hasn't been reflecting in earnings estimates just yet. Remember that a stock price is at a given level based upon what the market perceives future earnings potential will be. If consumers spend less, that will trickle through to sales, which will ultimately have an impact on earnings. All right, so there you go. Uh, mind you, you know, you can play this video back in this feed right here, or Lord's will, I remember to put the, the description, I mean, the, uh, the link in the description box. But as a, as a person that's in Babylon the Great, what he just said was you're not going to be able to save right and if your your company that you're working for starts losing money which is bleeding out all right significantly you can expect for you know major uh employees a majority of employee employees to be uh laid off all right, that's where we're going with this. All right. <clears throat> when times get hard, people get tight. And that's what he was saying, basically. Okay. Um, you know, America, which is Babylon the Great, has plans to draw for people 401k. Because what you see, it says Wall Street fell, falls on bank stocks. Tumble with jobs report jitters. All right, so for the next <clears throat> up and coming months, a lot of people are going to be fired. All right, no one will be hired, and you'll be doing menial jobs into, uh, you know, until things get better, which they presume, but we know that it's not going to get better. Thus said the uh, scriptures, okay. Let me get this script right here real quick. Isaiah 19. All right, this is Isaiah 19 and 15. It says, um, I'll read up 14. All right, Isaiah 19 and 14. It says, The Lord hath mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof as a drunken man stagger, staggereth in his vomit. Neither shall there be any work for Egypt which the head or tail branch or rush may do. Okay. So <clears throat> this is this is where we got and we have this thing now in Babylon the Great and probably abroad. Okay. Uh, uh, first it was the languishing, which, you know, we know, all know what languish mean when you look that up. All right. Um, but uh, that goes back to Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter. All right. And I'm going to get that next. But what this, this scripture is laying out for you, right? <clears throat> and I'm going to go to 16. It says, in that day shall Egypt be like unto women. And they shall be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hand of the Lord of hosts, which he shaketh over it. And that's what the Lord doing. He, he putting his, 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 his hand over the, the continent of Babylon the Great. And he's going to, going to plague this place. Okay. In every which way. All right. You know, the 10 plagues of Egypt. And the problems that they had until they their day of their fall, okay. The same thing that he's doing here, all right. He's stopping supply chains, okay. All the train derailments, they're poisoning the water, they're poisoning the food, all right. Those train derailments, uh, <clears throat> even though they clean up the mess, you know, they're they're long lasting. Because things are ripple effect, all right?
the supply chain is breaking down, man. Even if people don't want to see it, they're crashing, uh, what is it, tractor trellis, you know. So he's letting it be known, but that, like the man said in the video, okay, the guy said in the video, all right, there's going to be trimming of fat, and that's everywhere. But at that at that day and at that time, you know, <clears throat> the hopeful elect of the uh, uh, men of the Lord, I would say, Lord willing, we we are those men that are the hopeful elect. Okay, <clears throat> Shalaki brothers. Um. The Lord is going to want to watch out for us, all right? Because this place is going to crumble in a major way, all right? Major. And here it comes, man. This is going to be the end of Babylon the Great financially, all right? All right, and I got this other article. <laughs> And we know, we know, okay, that they're using Salaki. 